Once in the layout section, you can go create a new layout for either the profit and loss or balance sheet by clicking on the relevant statement and then clicking on new layout. You'll now have three options to create this layout. We can explore each of these throughout this video. So the first would be to use an industry template. As you can see, this is a very easy way of doing it. And what happens is that Swift will automatically map your accounts to categories that are usual for that industry. So if you want to use this option, you can click on use an industry template, and then you can go and select the industry that's appropriate to your entity. So for example, if you're a service entity, you could go and select this template and you'll see that it will group your accounts in a certain way. It creates categories and even creates some industry specific equations. So for example, if you're in a service business, you might be interested in the labor costs as a proportion of sales. And so it'll automatically create that for you. You can also go look what the balance sheet looks like and see if, again, this industry template is relevant for you. As Jay's Cupcakes is an, a manufacturing entity, I might want to go and select this industry template. And here you'll see it has a slightly different layout and key ratios such as working capital and net debt after cash and cash equivalents, which are relevant to my industry. For profit and loss, again, you'll see we have things like distribution costs and different groupings that are relevant to the industry. So you can go and select from a wide range of industries and then you can click on use template. And so now it will go and create a new layout based on that template. So here we can see those distribution costs and the maintenance expenses. So it's gone and mapped the accounts within my entity, Jay's Cupcake Company to that layout. If I'm happy with this, I can click save and I can go name it industry template. I can set it as a default if I would like. And that means that this would be the default layout that I would see when I go to my profit and loss or balance sheet, or I can toggle that off and this will just be one of the many layouts that I have. And I can always go and select it within financials if I wanted to use it. And then I'm going to click save. And now that layout has been saved and you'll see it's called industry template. So that's how you can use an industry template for either your profit and loss or balance sheet.